All right. Hey, everybody. This is Ashley again with some fun stuff, I guess. It's not sketching practice, but this is a new project for me. I got commissioned by Naomi Fox, who is a author of Many Things Smut. And she commissioned me to make a series type book cover to where she can easily change out the uh, background and like maybe the man in the background and a woman so i wanted to share with you how i created it so first things first i did a little bit of research um uh just second there you just saw how i found something that i wanted to read over a little bit more and a few more articles i found too uh that i did not record in this shorter search than my probably about what I only have searched previously. I just wanted to see what type of covers kind of popped out. Uh, and some of them did have a lot of the same traits, uh, especially that there weren't very many African American covers. So we are going to certainly change that. You know, that one's beautiful. Love that one. But I mean, that, that one was nice. Um,. Other than that, yeah, as you can see, there's not very many African American folks, but some things are popping out, such as the title being pretty large, the name of the author is kind of large, but not as large as the title. Uh, you got, I did find, I don't know if I, you're going to see it in this one, but if there was a series, there was usually like a bottom ribbon or a, it would be right under the title in which I didn't really like the ones that were right under the title because you couldn't really tell what it was like you had to really kind of get in there because they're they're making it small enough to fit under the title and not I guess obstruct the rest of the um picture but then some of them are kind of instructing the picture anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter, but I guess it was my pr preference. So pulling out that trusty Photoshop. Get it up there. See some of my other work, comic stuff. Um, you want to do 1600 by 260 pixels. can't figure out somebody tell me how to turn off that autoplay thing because it it's distracting sometimes but i sketched out a little bit of how the cover should look um on a quick piece of paper oh i should add a picture of that remember to add a picture to that before i finalize this and then i wanted to kind of get the placements that i was thinking of that looked the best to me on my in my research um title is super super duper small there so this is basically a quick outline of what I did on paper and then um, trying to make sure I have everything I guess all placements on the page uh, to look correct on the well the cover to look correct once I get everything laid out I'll do it a, do a little bit more detail. I try my best to title everything because I forget everything and I'm just always clicking through the layers, but it doesn't exactly help. So as you'll see, first things first, try to put that man found it on can't stop Found him on canstockphoto.com. Needed to be ripped. And she was looking for somebody with a mohawk cut. And she loved him. So, and I loved him too. Just, just to let you know, I loved him too. But, kind of remind me of Idris Elba right there. Because, ooh, good gracious, he is beautiful. Just, whew. All right, so that's a pretty plain background.
from the white so I definitely decided to make a few changes on them so I have this action that I found on Evolto Market I believe it was and the action is a simple like created watercolor action so first thing first you got to make another layer and call it brush lower caps and then brush on any color it doesn't matter what you want to keep clear as possible and then you play your action you got to download brushes palettes and the action for you to be able to do this but it's pretty simple straightforward process and here I'll sped it up a little bit so I can go through all of the different actions that create different layers and options for you to view it see the right side of the screen is going pretty bonkers and we got clear so there's some sections that really kind of have nothing that I'm gonna mess around with but you can always change the hue in the mold one I mean that's lovely but she wanted some color so I'm gonna leave the colors on there I like how the first option is the uh, pastel colors so that works for me sound pattern overlay it's, it's textures freaking awesome not so much on the lines there they so just kind of have to go through play around see which ones you like best you can remove add but I like the kind of grungy look she really told me just go ham do whatever I wanted to um, but basically we're gonna do a little bit more uh, stuff to it save your work all the time sex a man background uh, if anybody could tell me how to easier how, easier way of doing this like taking stuff from one Photoshop thing to the other please let me know because struggles will try to keep everything on one screen usually I spread it out in two go ahead hit that shift key at one point creative cloud took away the shift key which made it like I kept on making mistakes because I would hit shift to keep it all nice and neat and then come find out I'm tanned it up so it was nice that they did another update and gave it back I apologize I do ramble but okay so we try to make it look more like a ribbon I created it a few minutes before I like the purples to it Naomi's favorite color usually handles in black and purple so hey I'm doing that A little bit of the gradient there. And what else? All right. So the series I wanted to make it to where it was a little bit bigger than the others that I saw because it's going to be this is going to be basically the ribbon at the bottom of each one of the titles. Um, each one of the covers so she wants it to be able to be easily identified so it's a quick heat romance so I'm gonna make it um, much easier to see by having it on the ribbon and then her name which I forgot one in the X's uh, is going to be a pretty much big as possible plain text no um really flamboyant look or anything like that I wanted it to be easy to read all caps you know she got to have her name on there got to be visible and you, know, you always go through and got the lovely swishy text what is it chopping script for her title and the title needs to be humongous but I don't want it to take away from Mr. Abs in the background so once we get
into the so let's try to figure out placement trying to see how much space is it taking up how much um, is left for the character what is it called kerning you gotta I gotta fix that I do fix that everything's all separated felt that he needed to be a little bit bigger so didn't need to exactly have the elbows I'd like to do undo control Z a lot to go back and forth between pictures let's try to make that black stand out against his body and then Keep going. Something else. Create this one beforehand too. Real quick. Yeah. Much better. Oh, uh, yes, finally corrected it. What is that? Kerning? That's what I said. Kerning. And fix that. Go ahead and get the text a little bit bigger. So now there's a little bit more space. It'll allow me to allow it to look more like the script that it's supposed to be. And another way to make the title huge. Yes, I want it big. You know what it is, who it's by, and what series it's from. But basically, it is a paranormal romance about a. Let me get. Wait. I'm giving notes. Okay, paranormal romance about a witch who has been made to uh oh which has been made to participate in the maiden ceremonies of the tribe that she is with and due to an action sex she made some time ago so i believe she's against the tribe so the way to prove herself would be to become made it with a person in the tribe and she already knew about Roman, but he was gone, so they could leave her to mate with just about anybody. I'm gonna interrupt it. See what happens. I read smut all the time. It's just that's just something I do just for the fun. I keep such a straight face too when I'm reading it, so you would never know that I'm reading smut on my Kindle. But if you were to get me to read like this really cute scene story like a little love story young love or anything like that i'm blushing smiling just so happy and it's, it's so it's so weird so weird that my reaction is completely opposite like just shock and all when they finally get together and everything but then in in smut i'm like yeah that sounds about right <laughs> You might even see me like, you know, purse my lips a little bit like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that should be, should be the one right there. Should be the one.
Yeah, they got a little bit more together. Don't want to mess up that swoosh though. It's centered. Look at him. Just. Mm. Good. At one point, I was thinking to do a tiger on there, in which I, I did, and I showed that to you. He was a little much from what I was told. <laughs> I don't really want to put a tiger on there, so I had to use another option, which is a the grunge tiger texture, in which I found um, a link that I'm going to put below for you, and. Pretty simple grunge return, changed up. I did remove a step in here where I created a purple version and it wasn't the way I wanted it. I needed to fade a little bit better and stuff. You'll see it. It's like a, a hint of the animal. So I see it's a tiger shifter. So I needed that change the hue. And then create a gradient to make it a little bit clearer. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, they like it. There we go. So basically, we could just get textures and prints from for the different animals that she's dealing with. And she also is considering doing a alien section. So it doesn't matter. The quick heat romances are short erotic romances. And so they will have different creatures. Now, this could be she could do a whole line of just tigers and she won't have to change anything. But I did go ahead and say you know get this particular filter and each time you use uh like the action i did on the guy it looks completely different so you can change up the hues and this that and the other if you want to or you can leave it as i did mainly just cut on put on the the texture so this is exporting exporting that cover looks nice and there you go I mean, I have to say those nipples are the bomb. Just look at them. But thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. If you want to see more, let me know.